Now friends, now in this video, I am going to explain what is a random variable. In that random variable, there are two types, discrete random variable and continuous random variable. With an examples, I am going to explain them, differentiate them and then probability distribution we will discuss one by one. Random variable means what then? If a real variable is associated with every outcome of a random experiment, then it is called as a random variable or stochastic or a chance variable. If a real number is, we are providing one real number to the every outcome of a random experiment, then such naming is known as a random variable. For example, or that is also in mathematical I will define, if a random variable is a, a random variable is a function that assigns a real number to every element of a sample space of a random experiment. That is, x is a function from s to a r, where s is the sample space and x is the, we call it as a function, x is nothing but your random variable, is giving one real number, okay, then such set is known as a random variable, a set of all real numbers of random experiment x is known as a range of x, with an example I, will exp I would like to explain this random variable, suppose a coin is tossed thrice, three times, and let x and y be a random variables associated to the number of heads and number of tails respectively. x represents the number of heads and y represents the number of tails. Then whenever you toss a three coins, there are totally eight possible outcomes are there. Those are that set is known as a sample space. In the last video, I have explained that how it is. Okay. Now, whenever three co coin is tossed, first toss, second toss, third toss, both may, all three may be head, head, like that, first two toss may be head and third toss may be tail, like that, these are the all possible outcomes, that is head, 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 tail, head, tail, head, tail, head, head, tail, tail, head, tail, head, tail, head, tail, tail, and all the three may come as a tail, tail, tail. For each element of a sample space, I am initiating or assigning a one real number known as x as a number of heads on this. Therefore, total number of heads here is 3. I am initiating this one as a 3. Like that, in the second possible outcome, that is in a sample space, number of heads are 2. Number of heads are 2. Here also number of heads are 2. Number of heads is 1 here number of head is 1, number of head is 1, no heads are here, therefore 0. Therefore, x is taking the values from, it is it may take the values 0 it may take, 1 it may take, 2 it may take or 3 it may take. Therefore, the set of all possible values of x is known as a range of x. Like that, I may define the number of tails also. Correct? Here, no tails is there, zero number of tails. Therefore, I am initiating, giving it, some, assigning it to a zero number. One tail, one, one. Number of tails is one, whereas here number of tails is two, like that, two, 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 and three tails are there. The range of y is also zero, one, two, three. Therefore, this is known as x and y are known as random variables now. Okay, these are known as random variables. Further, in this random variables, there are two types, discrete and continuous. While assigning these numbers, here step by step values I am giving, 0, 1, 2, 3 like that I am giving, or whole number I am giving, such distributions, such, sorry, such a random variable is known as a continuous random, sorry, discrete random variable. If these numbers are given to that particular sample or sample, that 
is known as continuous random variable if we are giving 1.1 1.2 1.3 in a range from the limit if i am giving such are known as a continuous random variable let me define them if a random variable takes a finite or a step by step countably infinite numbers step by step 0 1 2 3 step by step we are taking and that is a sequence of real numbers then that is called as a discrete random variable okay like that for example i can give tossing of a coin all those things okay whereas a continuous random variable if a random variable takes a non countably infinite number of values within that limit given limit or a given interval then it is called as continuous random variable for example lifespan of a bulb okay it is it may range from 5000 hours to 10000 hours that hours may be in terms of points also 5.5 .5, 5 point like that such things are known as a continuous random variables okay after that uh, this is a definition of random variable how to use that random variable using that random variable i am going to discuss about the discrete probability distribution before defining the discrete probability distribution probability function i have to define if for each value xi of a discrete random variable x xi values if capital x is a random variable in that each element is known as a xi if we assign a one real number to that p, p uh, real number known as p of xi such that condition should holds good each p of xi must be greater than or equal to 0 and sum of all p of xi must be equal to 1 then that function p of xi is known as a probability function this p of xi is known as probability function and the set of the set of values all the values okay xi values for particular example 0 1 2 3 and corresponding p of xi all together is known as a probability distribution and here the function p of x is known as a probability density function if x is a discrete one if capital x is a discrete random variable then such functions are known as a probability density function then cumulative distribution function f of x or i will call it as f of t f of t is nothing but a probability of x less than or equal to t up to t whatever the probabilities probability functions if you are adding them up to t x i equal to 0 to 1 to up to t all the probability addition is known as a cumulative distribution function okay and the probability of x greater than or equal to t is it is less than or equal to t then how to find greater than or equal to t that is given by 1 minus probability of x less than or equal to t okay or if you want to find out probability of x greater than or equal to t i can make it as 1 minus probability of x less than t that will give you probability okay with an example i would like to explain this probability function and probability distribution as well as how to find the cumulative distributions and important thing is probability function or probability distribution distribution five we have to find out the distribution and all those things using this distribution and all those things my intention is to find out the mean of that x and variance how it distribution is varying i would like to find out variance and it's a standard deviation i will define those two first then i will come back to how to to define the function and with an example i will explain one by one first i will give you the idea of a frequency distribution say for example in a class 10 students are there and their marks is given by like this 35 per student 45 55 60 and then 35 again next 
थर्टी फाइव वन मोर स्टूडेंट सिक्सटी 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 वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन वन मोर स्टूडेंट आई विल टेक एज अ फिफ्टी दिस इज अ टोटल नंबर टेन स्टूडेंट्स आर देयर देर एंड देयर मार्क्स हैज बिन गिवन इयर देन हाउ टू फिट अ फ्रिक्वेंसी फॉर दैट सिचुएशन फॉर दैम हियर आई विल डिफाइन अ वेरिएबल एक्स एज अ मार्क्स दिस इज योअर वेरिएबल रियल वेरिएबल एंड करस्पॉन्डिंग frequency and that is nothing but number of students number of students will become your frequency the marks is ranging from 35 to 60 maximum okay 35 how many students are there getting 35 1 2 3 total number is 3 students are taking Three. That is known as your frequency. For thirty-five, it is frequencies. That's why it is variable, and its frequency is three. Like that, forty-five next. Forty-five getting student is only one. Then fifty-five. How many students have got fifty-five marks? That is also one. Whereas sixty getting students are one, two, three, and four. Sorry, before that. Fifty, I will make here first. That is also one student. Then fifty-five is also one student. Then sixty, four students are there. Therefore, total number of students is nothing but ten. This is the marks. For this, I am finding the mean. How to find out mean from this? We know already. Mean x bar is equal to summation of X into F divided by summation of F will give you mean. Like that, variance variance V is equal to summation of X minus X bar into F divided by summation of F. Or one more square sum or one more formula summation of X square into F. Summation of x square into f divided by summation of f minus x bar square is also formula for variance. And standard deviation is nothing but sigma equal to square root of v. We, we know them. Okay, this is a frequency distribution. How to find out? Same thing I would like to discuss in the form of probability distribution. Okay, while defining the probability distribution. mean and variance of a probability distribution is given by for a discrete probability distribution mean is equal to summation of xi into p of xi divided by summation of pi of xi will come divided by summation of p of xi but summation of p of xi is equal to 1 according to the definition of probability function therefore is this is a thimut summation of xi into p of xi only mean similarly for variance also the same thing divided by summation of xi will come summation of p of xi is but that is equal to 1 that's why xi minus mu the whole square into p of xi summation of x square into p of xi minus mu square therefore standard deviation is also given by same thing all these things i would like to explain with an one example okay one by one i will explain here i would like to explain that one in the next video okay please go through that next video and please subscribe my channel